Hello everyone, I'm GB Colleen and today we're going to have a look at something new, the Kohl's Little Shop Series 2. And no, I have not been to Australia. I got these on Amazon. There was a 12 pack for I think $24.90. And I think there's just one miniature inside, which means it comes down to about a little over $2 per miniature, which in some cases it's a little bit more than mini brands. But as far as I know, you get one of these whenever you visit the store and make a purchase. I honestly don't know too much about Kohl's Little Shop miniatures. I didn't want to dig too much into it. I wanted to be surprised and for you guys to get an authentic reaction and a honest review. Okay, at this point, I think I talked too much. Let's just open them and see what they're all about. Okay, so it seems like we got a little collector's guide here. There are 30 minutes to collect in total. It says over there, while stocks last, which means I think I'm right. You do get these as you shop. I don't know, at this point I'm thinking maybe I should have done a little bit of research about these. Here are all the miniatures available in the series. What I'm mostly curious is to see how these compare to mini brands and how detailed or not detailed they are compared to mini brands. So my very first miniature from this company is the Kohl's Special Burger Sauce. Based on the color, it kind of looks like McDonald's Big Mac sauce, which by the way is really delicious. And surprisingly enough, it seems like they display the same amount of details as mini brands. And I'm wondering, do these came out before mini brands or after mini brands? I don't think it opens, but it does have the same amount of detail as a mini brand. So if I was to open a mini brands ball and get one of these inside, I would not think that it's, you know, Kohl's Little Shop or something else. I would think it's actually mini brands. Okay, a collector's guide. And then we got a gift card <laughs> and it's, um, obviously it doesn't work, right? But it does say scan this QR code for something exclusive. And since I do not have a Kohl's store around me, I'm in the US, I think these are only in Australia. For all my Australian viewers, feel free to pause the video and scan this QR code, I guess. I'm not sure what you're getting. Maybe someone already scanned it. If you see this later on, it looks cool. It feels like a real card, but um, it's not up to scale. Obviously, it's a lot bigger. If this was a bottle of special sauce, this is how big the gift card is. And I'm guessing all these numbers and also the valid through date are just, you know, pretend they're not actually meaning anything. All right, we got a new miniature. This is the Edgel or Edgel. I think it's Edgel, right? Edgel black beans picked and soaked. So this is not quite as detailed as you'd expect. It kind of has the vibe of the mini brand series one. I think the chili cans in that series had kind of like the same type of vibe. Not your usual silver can, but then again, there are cans that are not silver. I think the hormone chili is actually like that, where it's like a, kinda like a brass golden type of can. They're a little bit bigger than uh, the type of miniatures we have now, for example, in series five. Here's the Campbell's chicken noodle soup for mini brands. Now, granted, the Campbell's can is a little bit smaller than you know your usual can of beans for example but still this one is a lot detailed compared to this one specifically even if the Campbell's soup is a lot smaller you can read the details and everything on the back you can do the same with this one but again it's a lot larger uh, type of miniature I'm not trying to necessarily compare them directly because many brands like this is their business they're trying to sell these whereas again I'm not sure but I think you get these for free at the store whenever you make a purchase or something like that and even if you don't I'm pretty sure they're a lot cheaper than many brands so yeah let's move on I think this is a jar of instant coffee. It's called Makona. And the reason I knew it's coffee, it's because right over there it says medium roast. I'm not sure if this is how it looks in real life as well, if it has like a clear cap. I kind of doubt it, but maybe this is how it looks. It is so funny to me how many of you out there are very familiar with these products, like in real life. And I have no clue. Like so far, everything we've got, I have not seen in real life. If you are from Australia or from a different country where these products are sold, let me know in the comments. I'm curious to see. Oh, there goes my light. As I was saying, let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to see how many of you are familiar with these products and if they're available in different countries as well. Okay, I fixed the light situation, so we're back in business. Oh boy, this is a big carton of milk. I don't think it's, yeah, it's not even, I thought it's a gallon or something. That would have been crazy. Imagine a gallon carton of milk. This, my friends, is Australia's own full cream A2 protein milk from our farms to your home. Naturally A1 protein free. It's very nice to once again see the metric system. We have one liter there. We don't have like half a gallon or a gallon, which for those of you that don't know, one liter is about, I think if I'm not mistaken, it's a little bit over a quarter of a gallon. I really don't understand what this A1 protein type or A2 protein type means, but 
I'm curious. I'm going to have to look into it after this video is done. Once again, if you were to give me this and say it's a mini brand, I would believe you and I would actually ask you what series it is and where can you find them because I haven't seen them before. This is the Swanson's beef broth and it's 907 grams, but let's say it's a liter, right? It, they would not have made it a little bit bigger because it's a liter. I just wanted to show you how small this is compared to this. All right, we got another box. This time we got the Freedom Messy Monkeys Strawberry and Apple Snack Bars. Once again, it's a Australian company or, you know, something from around Australia that have not made their way up here to the US. They do, however, look delicious, a little bigger, which is gonna be probably the case moving forward in this series. I'm probably gonna stop mentioning that. Okay, this is oven baked, not fried. <laughs> they had to mention that, right? Arnett's Shapes Originals Barbecue. So is this kind of like Cheez-Its? Because they kind of look like Cheez-Its, don't they? Okay. Oh boy, this is a big one. Wrigley's Eclipse Mints. A little bit out of proportions. I know all of them are gonna be big, but finally, another plastic mini. The last three we got were cardboard, so yeah, I'm always gonna take a plastic mini over cardboard one. Always. Okay, we got some other types of products now. It's the Olay Complete Defense Daily UV Moisturizing Lotion. So it's like lotion that is also sunscreen, or is it sunscreen that is also lotion? In terms of a miniature, I'd say it looks great. So far, I think these are the best miniatures outside of mini brands that are, you know, in the same category. Because Miniverse, you can't really compare them to mini brands because they're actually just, you know, you're creating your own. It's not a specific brand, but these guys are good. So if you're watching this video when it goes up, which is the Saturday, Saturday and you do celebrate Christmas, you know that tomorrow is Christmas Eve. So apparently Cole's Little Shop also came out with a Christmas edition and I got just a few, not too many, but I thought it'd be a perfect time to open them now. All right, here's the Christmas edition collector's guide. So just five minis to collect in this series. The Cole's Gingerbread. What's the Gingerbread Man's favorite accessory? A candy cane. Yeah, that's nice. We got the Cole's Deep Filled Fruit Mince Pies. This one's delicious. Where did the mince pie go home? He wasn't feeling well. <laughs> yeah. Limited edition mini gingerbread ice cream. What did the newspaper say to the ice cream? What's the scoop? This is the Pavlova. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Mommy Santa a Christmas dessert. He was Pav Pavlova. Pav I, don't, I don't get that. It's probably my pronunciation. And then we have the Coles Festive Crackers. What do you get if you cross Santa with a duck? A Christmas cracker. <laughs> all right, all right, settle down. So in this particular pouch, we got the gingerbread lightly spiced for all naughty or nice. Oh, that's nice. That's nice marketing. And it's a Coles brand. So it's kind of like cookie dough or is it just straight up a gingerbread in this packet? Yeah, I think it's straight up a gingerbread. Otherwise, they probably would have been like instructions on how to, you know, heat your oven to 325 or whatever and then put them in there, blah, blah, blah. This is a can. It's not your traditional can. It's a taller type of can. I mean, we have those too. Mount Franklin Lightly Sparkling. So it's sparkling water with a little bit of lime flavor and no sugar. So it's the healthy type, huh? Pure Australian spring water infused with delicate bubbles and a hint of natural lime flavor. That's something I would like to try because it does say here that it's lightly sparkling. Everything we have here, I mean, almost everything is very heavily sparkly. <laughs> it's very carbonated. If I'm not mistaken, Red Bull would be an example of a drink that's lightly sparkly. Once again, I'm pretty sure the can is actually silver. That's this grayish type of color. Like I said, they're not in the business to sell these as, you know, mini brands is, or maybe they are at this point. I don't know, but still very impressive details. Okay, what do we have? Oh, interesting. Oh, come on. So it's a um, breath, power active, juicy lemon freshness. You know, it's the thingy that you put on the toilet. Look, there's a little picture over there. And even though it looks very realistic and you think there's something inside, there actually isn't anything inside. It's just a little bit of piece of cardboard that's printed, which I guess is better than just, you know, printed it on the, what do you call it, on the main cardboard, but still. Oh, look at that. Campbell's. Campbell's condensed tomato soup. Now, obviously, their can is going to look slightly different than our can, you know, in terms of marketing. Honestly, I don't think we have the Campbell's condensed tomato soup. And here is a comparison. Yeah, not bigger. 
Ah, darn it. I said I'm not going to say that again. Well, it's a duplicate. We got the gingerbread once again. We should probably then open another one just to see something new, not a duplicate. Okay, so I pronounce this Pavlova, but if it's pronounced Pavlova, then yeah. Uh, it is a very delicious dessert. If you've never had it, I suggest you have it whenever you see it somewhere or if there's on, if it's my mouth is watering. That's why I'm having a hard time pronouncing words. If you see it on the menu or I don't know, if you want to give it a shot and try to make it yourself, please go for it. It's such a good dessert. I highly recommend it. Give it a try. I think you're going to love it. Okay, it seems like maybe we're going to start getting duplicates now. This is once again the Mount Franklin Lightly Sparkling Lime Flavored Water. Honestly, the fact that it's so big, it just reminds me of the Pringles can from many brands. These are Australian Field Fresh Garden Peas from Bird's Eye. That's interesting. I think they're using cardboard to keep it, you know, looking real. I mean, that's so stupid to say. They're using cardboard inside to make it look realistic, you know, make it look fluffy. Many brands actually use some type of foam inside to keep these, you know, how do you call that? Like plump, fluffy? Yeah, I can't seem to find a different word for it. Oh, this looks nice. It's Heritage Mill Apple Crumble Clusters. I really like the way this package looks. It's kind of like a matte finish and it's a new miniature. I-N-S-P-O. Inspo. Oh, like inspiration. Is that what they say nowadays? Inspo instead of inspiration? Well, you learn something new every day. Darn it. I went back to Christmas just to be punished with another gingerbread. This is Legos. <laughs> That's funny. Legos pizza sauce. Garlic, onion, and herbs. Double concentrate. Pizza sauce, huh? I thought it's ketchup, honestly, when I pulled it out. Like the shape of the bottle, I was sure it's ketchup. But no, it is pizza sauce. We got Dynamo Professional. Five actions in one wash. So it's um, liquid detergent for your laundry, right? Yeah, I think it is. Looks really good. Really detailed. Yeah, doesn't do that. They really put a lot of thought into these miniatures. It's not like other companies where it's just like, you know, blah, they just put it out there. <laughs> Imagine if they're actually the same company, like either Kohl's owns many brands or many brands owns Kohl's. Wait, actually Zuru, because many brands is actually owned by Zuru. Another new miniature, Latina Fresh Beef Ravioli made with fresh Australian beef. Service four. Oh. Oh my God, I thought that's real. They did such a good job with that piece of cardboard in there. I actually thought it's real. And again, I'm when I'm filming these, I'm not looking straight at the products. I'm looking through the camera. It definitely fooled me. Awesome job with this one, Coles. You really did well. There's another new one. I'm really surprised that they don't have a lot of duplicates or a lot of repeats. I mean, if you think about it, there's 30 in total to collect and I already, oh, that's cool. It's printed, but it looks so good and so realistic, right? I wonder what kind of printers did I use? Do you guys know what type of printers can create this much detail? Maybe I can make my own miniatures and see how that turns out. Either way, this is the Primo Thinly Sliced English Style Authentic Unsmoked Leg Ham. And I know I was saying something, I didn't finish it because I saw that and it just blew me away. Um, if I remember, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention it later on. All right, here's the Gillette Fusion 5 razor blade. Let's see. Yeah, again, it's printed there. It's like a cardboard piece, but not as good as the other ones that, you know, the lunch meat and everything else. Okay, we got more peas. You guys like peas? I actually like them, but they do need to be in certain dishes. I don't just like to eat them, you know, by themselves or just with butter or something like green beans, for example. I really don't like green beans. All right, we got another one of those gift cards from Kohl's and it seems like it looks exactly like the other one. For those of you that want it, here's the QR code. Hopefully you get some good deals out of it. All right, it seems like we're going back to the beginning of the video. This is a special burger sauce. This, my friends, is the 10 Festive Crackers. So it seems like they do have their own brand and quite a few of these are their own brand. These items should only be used under the old supervision. Also, it's cookie cutters. Yeah, it seems like it is cookie cutters. 10 Festive Crackers. Okay, so it is the crackers and then you get the cookie cutters as well. Not actually size. Each cracker contains a party hat. 
joke and novelty. I don't get it. So is it toys or is it crackers? Well, if you guys know about this, please let me know. I'm curious. Here's a new miniature. Seems like we got some noodles. Two minute noodles to be precise. Made with whole grain and it's chicken flavor. So it's kind of like the Marchand instant ramen. Just a little bit different, I guess. Pretty cool. See, once again, they used cardboard inside instead of foam. There's literally a cardboard box inside this. Okay, this piqued my interest. Ultimate 40% chocolate chip, crunchy buttery cookies packed with real chocolate chips. I mean, they're speaking my language at this point. 40% chocolate chip, so out of a cookie, more than, I mean, not more, less than half of it is chocolate. That sounds like perfection to me. Okay, we do have this brand here in the US. Maybe not exact. Oh yeah, we do have these, right? There's stuff in here and you just pour it in there, mix it in with your yogurt. This is the Chobani Greek yogurt flip and it's with strawberry shortcake. Strawberry low-fat yogurt with cookie crumble and white chocolate. That sounds delicious. Here's another Maggi two-minute noodles with chicken. Here's a can of Heinz beans. No added sugar. They say it's new. I'm wondering if it's because there's no added sugar. Meal for one, snack for two. Wait a minute. Do they just put beans on toast? I don't know if people do that. I'm gonna have to try it. But yeah, it's the same type of can as the other ones. Nothing crazy or special. The crazy thing, however, is that I remember what I was about to say before I got interrupted by that lunch meat print thingy on the back. I mean, if you think about it, there's 30 in total to collect and I already, oh, that's cool. It's crazy that we didn't get many duplicates considering, you know, it's such a short batch. And I'm actually curious to see how close we are to completing the series, even though that's not the prime objective of this video, but it is a nice side quest, I guess. So it seems like we're actually pretty close. I just need seven more minis and I have completed the Cole's Little Shop Series 2 collection. The chances, however, are pretty slim because I don't have that many bags left, but let's see. Oh man, come on, not another gingerbread. It seems like this is a very easy to get mini. And again, this collection, the Christmas one, just has five to collect, so yeah. But still, come on, five, how many do I have? One, two, three, four gingerbreads. My dog, Chicken Supreme Midi Loaf. The dog looks really cute. So it is a new mini, which means now we need six to complete this series. Okay, another duplicate. This is the Wrigley's Eclipse Spearmint Mints. More beans. Another can of Edgill Black Beans. Um, Bula Thickened Cream as an interesting name. Family Dairy since 1910. Yes, again, through the camera, I can't always see very well. Thicken the cream. So it's like whipping cream or Coke whip. Yeah, I guess you can whip it and it's in a jar. That's interesting. Or maybe it's in one of those plastic containers that mayo comes in. So the math is not in my favor because we need five more to complete it. And we have four little baggies. This is a total different series. So if I'm getting crazy lucky and I get all the four new minis in these bags, and then I need one more to complete the series, I am definitely going to buy more of these and open more until I complete it. I mean, I might as well, right? Well, there goes a the chance to do that. These are the Edgill Black Beans. More doggy food. More of this Latina Fresh Beef Ravioli which, by the way, looks really good on this side, even though it's just cardboard. Another Dynamo laundry detergent. And another one of those 10 festive crackers thingy that I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's crackers. Here on the back, it shows cookie cutters. I think they're cookie cutters. Maybe they're not. They look like toys. Never mind. But yeah, let us know in the comments. I'm pretty sure there's other people out there that want to know. All in all, like I said earlier in the video, these look really good. They're really close to mini brands. They're just a little bit bigger. I had a lot of fun opening them and discovering some new miniatures and some products that I've never heard of. Thank you in advance for all the comments, for all the likes, and for all those of you that will subscribe or are already subscribed. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everyone. I hope you all doing well. Now, as usual, you guys stay golden, keep on shining, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.